Christ, shall belong. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakak Badash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, who go out throughout the four corners of the earth to risk your lives to push this truth and wake up the hopeful elect um, unto salvation. This is Brother Tawabash from the Great Millstone Northwest Camp. Another uh, dashboard and pistol. On my way to uh, the Plan T. Go, uh, you know, get my daily bread. the most high yet it continues unto this day right you got uh you got benjamin who uh and levi who are heavy into the voodoo you know they have dolls and uh you know the sacrifice uh, not in the name of the lord but in uh the name of uh witches and warlocks you know they're heavy into witchcraft and they're given away unto idols That's a heavy, heavy part of the reason why the Most High has uh, jacked us up, you know, for our, our uh, idolatry. So, you know, these is, this is part of the things that we have to go through, you know, as a nation. We went off as a nation. Now, you know, everybody has to pay for the sins of the, uh, for, of the, for the whole tribe. Everybody's guilty. If you allow it, you're guilty of it. You know, that's why the, the scriptures say if you're not for the most high, you're against him. It's the same thing. If you allow iniquity to happen and to go on and you don't stomp it out and get rid of it, then then you're for it. Whether you believe it or not. It's just, it's just, that's just the way it is. But the most high said that he would call his children back to them. Uh, like the dry bones talks about um, how it says it would put the sinew back together and you know blood in the veins and the, you know vigor in the the muscles and you know roughly paraphrasing you know he would put together the the, the dry bones the, the bodies that were lining in the streets meaning he's waking Israel up to the fact that we are the nation of his chosen people and that uh, 144,000 of us will be delivered right those that uh you know he hath chosen before the foundation of the world you know so we got to endure we got to go out on the highways and the byways we got to do as commanded you know follow the law statutes and commandments to the best of our ability which really just means you know following Yahweh Shai's example to the best of our ability because on uh, on two laws hang hang all the prophets right to love the Most High with all your mind, body, and soul, right? 
And uh, the second is like unto it, love your brother as you love yourself. You know, so we're supposed to, you know, take care of, uh, of the brotherhood as we would take care of Yahweh Shai if he were here, right? And, and love the brotherhood, man. Love the brotherhood and love the most high. You got those two things taken care of, then you got the rest to fall into place. Because the law is a schoolmaster. But a lot of these uh, uh, disobedient children didn't learn from the law. So that's why they still feel like they're under the law. Now, don't get it twisted. The law didn't go anywhere. But uh, Yahweh Shai brought understanding to the law. That's why we're allowed to uh, walk around and not have to sacrifice uh, or, or murder, uh, put to death uh, certain people for doing certain sins. You know, we, we have to allow certain things to happen here because it's against the law to uh, take matters into your own hands. You know, so we endure and we wait for Yahweh, we wait for Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai back to judge this earth. To set things in its rightful order, right? So we won't have to worry about these things anymore in the kingdom. You know, the ki the kingdom is going to be glorious because it'll be in all in, in 100% righteousness. Everything will be in, set in its right order. You know, from from the weather to the animals to to people. You know, everything is going to be. And, and righteousness and upright and lawful and, you know that's those are the things that we hope for you know that's why we endure the things that we endure to know this truth and to be awake in these times is not an easy is not an easy task we're talking about dealing with all kinds of atrocities that are going on here in America and, and being awake and knowing that it's a, that it's an abomination unto our our power, our Creator, our Lord. Hey man, the Most High is powerful, and He is uh, He's merciful. Because even even with us enduring this, what we are to receive is greater than the things that we are to endure. You know, thus saith the Holy Bible. You know, and I didn't want to make this too long. I was just getting into uh, Jeremiah, the third chapter, and it was getting deep into, uh, you know, how how far we've gone off, but yet how much mercy the Most High has to bring us back. You know, because we're like um, we're like an adulterous woman unto the Most High. Can you imagine that? Here it is. You you love a woman. You take care of her. You buy her everything she needs. You get her her own house, her own car, you know, you set her up real good, and she over here, you know, back door sliding on you, dealing with another one, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that's, that's what, that's what Israel's done to you, the most high, man, so we, we can only, um, we can, all we can do is, is, is pray for forgiveness, man, for going off, and for treating him in that way. And uh, the only way you can make it right is by doing the will of, 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 of him now. Doing his will, you know, turning back from your uh, iniquities, right? Repenting. Repenting, it means to truly turn away from the things that you have done. And that's all we can do, you know, continue every day to pray that our hands are washed of the blood of our sins. And pray that you know we are Yahweh Shai's because other other than that you will be judged. If you're not Yahweh Shai's, the ones that you know Yahweh gave to Yahweh Shai, if you're not a part of that number, ain't no getting in. Ain't no way it's gonna happen. You know, and if you're an able-bodied man, there should be nothing holding you back from coming out and doing this work. You know, not a damn thing. Brothers need, you know, you know, brothers don't need you, but brothers need you. You know what I'm saying? You, you should want to help. You should want to uh, be a part of, of the Most High's flock and, and, and help to uh, further, further his uh, agenda, which is uh, to push this word until the elector woken up and to endure until the end. And that 
pray for salvation. You know, that's all we can do, man, is feed his sheep. You know, that's what he told Peter. If you love me, feed my sheep. And that's what that's what he did, and that's what we gonna do. You know, as for me and my house, you know, we gonna serve the Lord. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, I suggest all, you know, brothers get a chance to read that Jeremiah, the third chapter, man. It's a good one. It goes into how, you know, in this day we'd be coming back together and, and pushing this word out there, you know, you know, fighting, fighting for our salvation. But, uh, yeah, brother, shalom.